Hello, folks, and welcome back to Asterikos. Hilda's tired, but sorry, Hilda, we still gotta go to the amphitheater to find clues of the hidden documents. Well, the amphitheater's right here. Seems like maybe a boss fight immediately, but maybe not. Dude, we probably don't need the light, huh? Yeah, okay, we're doing well without it. Sal, or maybe Oracalcum? Sal, okay. Well, see, with Sal, it kind of indicates this might actually be a fight, right? What about over here? Okay, Oracalcum, there we go. Alright, nice. Any more... Caches around here? Caches, whatever. Actually, give me the light again. Just a little bit dark around here. And the nice thing about the light, it does tell us when there's bad guys nearby. Alright, I didn't see anything else. I think we're good. Oh, uh, well, see, now it's telling me there's something here. What, though? I don't know. Okay, specific keys required, which basically means can't open from the side. Though, I don't know, we found a lot of those back in the academy, too. Okay, um, I picked left. For no particular reason. No bad guys here. Not as far as I can tell, anyway. I mean, somebody's keeping up the candles, right? Somebody's lighting those things. Stacking them over here. Who sent us that? Is it Marissa? Yes! It's Marissa! Wow, Lele is just really hyper focused on Marissa, huh? Alright, do I need fire for this to do this better? Okay. Okay, so we need to get over to Yulela. Oh, hello. How you doing, sir? Find me. Oh, that one got me. That one got me. Not actually sure fire was better there. Oh, she did two of them that time. Kill you. Can't jump over. Oh, because you're here. Hello. Okay, so you're out. Hey, Harpy, where are you? I can't even target you right now. Come on. There we go. Harpy down. Kill you. Come on. There we go. Okay, you're down. Break this down. Okay, if I dodge. If I dodge, it seems to be fine. Okay, harpies. Hello? Oh, damn it. It's okay, drink. Actually, do this first. Oh, come on. Don't even drink. There we go. Okay, drink. Yeah. Kill you. Have to dodge at the right time. I think she might be a little insane. Just a little bit, though. Just, you know, around the edges. Let me just drop. Kill you. There's no way we jump. Except, do we want to drop? <sighs> Her voice shouldn't be able to reach here. Okay, so this is a safe spot somehow. Don't ask questions. Oh, hello there. War. Biography of Theodore. Most of the pages of artist, amphitheater, founder of Theodore biography are missing. Only a few chapters can be read. Theodore was neither handsome nor majestic. Ouch. But statues depicting him are embellished. Some say this was at his request, while others say this was simply what he looked like before he fell ill. Born in the city of Aphids just after the Martoon invasion, Theodore just so happened to enter the world at a time when Ephesian culture truly took off. He was born to an Aristotle family and free of financial worry. Therefore, he indulged himself in the field of music, where he created many excellent works combined with long-form poems. It is said that even back then, 
the Archons were fascinated by his works. His music style has been imitated by many people, but Theodore is not kind to others. His personality is both highly eccentric and extremely volatile, and he becomes very emotional when dealing with servants and family members, often yelling at them or belittling them. He often forms relations with slaves and the common folk because he can always charm them with his artistic presence. In Middle Age, he provoked the Archons with his rude language, causing him to lose the stage on which he had performed and resulting in his wealth drying up. His illness also caused him to lose his hearing, and he spent the rest of his life writing plays in the pit of depression. However, the tragedies he wrote were not well received, so in order to cater to his audience, he had to write comedies, even though it pained him to do so. This went on until later years, in which a talented relative proposed that he build a theater and, in doing so, write what he wanted to write. Theodore gladly accepted the proposal, but along the way his temper led him to frequently quarrel with his relatives. This delayed the project for many years, and, in the end, he died having never seen the completed theater. Ironically, his tragedies became popular after his death. They gradually gained popularity among the public, and became what many audiences would consider classics. Although his violent and emotional character caused many troubles for her family, his talent covered up these stains. Very, very troubled person overall, but at least he got the recognition that maybe he deserved, and maybe at the deserved time, you know? If he was a total dick, it's kind of better that he wasn't recognized as a lack of a better word, genius, until uh, after his death. Throwing daggers, worst pickup ever. Never used, ever. I have a staff, why would I want throwing daggers? I guess if we had gone sword and shield, maybe, maybe. Dancer's Diary, why the Saints Pool? Eulalia was burned by a fire on the stage. I shudder just thinking of those screams echoing throughout the theater. Hope the priests there can heal her. Of course, I don't like her. She's a vicious, arrogant woman despite her perfect voice. But no performer should suffer like that. I also heard that the accident has something to do with Marissa's cursed story. I didn't expect it that a talented woman capable of writing such moving songs could be so cruel. It's terrifying. I'll have to ask my agent to check the gifts I got from my fans recently. Okay, so there was an accident on the stage that caused Eulalia to be burned, and that's why she thinks she's terrific. And that's why she was willing to go through sublimation, and she blamed Marissa for it. Alright, good to know. That looks like that could be a mimic. Oh yeah, it's totally a mimic because it's red. Okay. Alright, let's read these first. Second Administrator Calvi, former Aristotle Senator with rich experience in both speech and debate. Worked to raise funds and plan events to expand the amphitheater's entertainment offerings and laid the foundation for future expansions. So here will be the first one. Yeah, first administrator is Sinanias. Also trained many outstanding performers, worked tirelessly to make great contributions to the amphitheater. Okay. Alright, so I kind of don't want to fight the mimic here. I kind of want to pull him back over here, but I don't know if that's worth that's reasonable or not. Okay, maybe, maybe. I forget what's actually a better element for our mimics. I want to say ice, but I don't know why I think that. Let's try it. I don't know, ice doesn't seem to be doing much. Let's go fire. And eh, fire is barely doing anything. Let's go arcane. Oh, he got me. He got me. That hurt. Yeah, arcane seems to be best. Oh, that's right. I always forget that move. Nope. Okay. Don't. Don't. Stop it. Stop it. I'm gonna have to go around the, the thing here. Drink. Oh, he's just going right over it. I thought he'd have to go around, but no, he just hops right over it. Oh, okay, almost got me there. Good job. You're gonna do your spin move, aren't you? Yep, there you go. Okay, so why we have staff? Can't reach me over here. Good, good. And he's out. Fucking eat it. Yeah, that's why we always check for mimics, man. Freaking dangerous around here. Anything else over here? No. Okay. Oh, there's a guy right there. He's pretty far, though. Yeah, we can't do it from here. There should be another way up, theoretically. Though, I guess not this way. Okay, there's these guys. Hello. Oh, I'm 
the wolf. Not okay, yeah, didn't mean to target the wolf, but whatever. Come on over here. Come on. Yeah, walk right through it. Thanks. He's gonna go ahead and launch another fireball, right? Yep, there it goes. I just no, I thought I dodged it. God damn it. Oh, he's gonna turn into a wolf. That's cheating, and you know it, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Over here. Don't wait till you fully regen, you freaking friggin' frack. There. Okay, you might just be able to snipe. Oh, and you're probably a wolf of prayer, right? Yeah. Still worth. Yeah, that's just an owl statue. Kind of surprised nobody jumped out to attack me here. Okay, this is does feel like the right way to go, but does not get me over to the chest I wanted to get to. So let me go back over this way, because I think the there'd be a similar staircase over here. Yeah, because that's the chest I want to get to up there. So over here at all? No, can't open the. Oh no, hold on. Can I open the door? Yeah, okay, so this gets me back to the beginning, right? Yeah, 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 okay, that's fine. That works out. So then does this staircase get me to where I want to go? Okay, take out the harpy. Good, good. Take out the wolf. Oh, come on. All right through here. There we go. Okay, let's make sure. Okay, not a mimic. Good. Kalkum. Okay. I'm really tempted to head back to the sanctuary and level up our weapons, but we're going to have to go back to the sanctuary after this fight anyway, so I'm sure it's fine. So wait, how did I not find the opening for that door? Hold on. As I went this way originally, right? So we went this way. We had to dodge a lot for the harpy. Oh, uh, we had to go further up, though. That's probably why. Yeah, what I want to do is go down, right? So I want to go... Okay, so it is a circle, though. So it seems like maybe we go far enough over this way. Can I just jump over this? Oh, I can't jump over the railing? Oh, boo, boo. Boo, I say. Boo. That's right, we open this door. So we can go to this way. Okay, it's a giant circle, right? I mean, that's what amphitheaters usually are. So we should be able to just go along the bottom here and find another door. It's a good theory. Let's see if it checks out. Running, running, running. Oh, right. Except we have to go this way. Well, okay, but that should still work, though, right? No, oh, maybe not. Okay, not apparently mimic. I'm going to shoot it anyway. Okay, just to make sure. Always going to be safe. Another chest, we get another... Uh, oh, that's right, we might get an outfit. That'll be nice. Okay, can't open that door, so so much for that theory. Yeah, there must be another way to get at that door, but I don't know what it is. That seems like a trap for some reason, but I don't know why. Why does it seem like a trap? Stage of Feathers. Well, that's definitely where we fight the Harpy then, right? Oh, it totally raises us up into the arena. Yeah, that's totally what happens there. Okay, I mean, we want to do that for sure, just not right this second. I mean, yes, we want to do the fight, but not just this second. Uh, Rokaku? Nah, yeah, Star Door. All right. Still good, though. When this loops back around, did we... Oh, I just, I just never look at this door. Okay, that's strange, but all right. And that is an open up. Okay. Yeah, the trouble is the light's supposed to indicate when something interesting is nearby, but it's, um, it's not great at it. 
it does it by proximity, no matter whether you can reach it or not. Like, it doesn't actually care if you can reach it. It just tells you, hey, there's something nearby. Yeah, nearby is past the door I can't go through, you freaking weirdo. All right, I guess we're fighting the harpy. Let's do it. What could possibly go wrong? What skills do I have, by the way? Because we should actually, you know, do something about those. Um, skills, yeah. Okay, so I've got Stormbreaker. Large area in front of me. Gale Force buffs damage. Okay, maybe. Grid zone increases AP and SP recovery speed. Could help. Unleash a fire that burns continuously on target in front of you. That could be really good. Depending if the Harpy actually stays put. Like, it really worked really well for the Colossi. I don't know if it's going to be good for the Harpy. Like, the Astral Blessing might be pretty good. Gale Force could work out all right. All right. So let's go ahead and take this. It's probably just a bunch of sal, which I don't think I can carry. Okay, I can carry one more. That was it. Um, This looks like not sal. Oh, it looks like daggers. Charge bombs. Big deal. Throwing weapons. No one cares. I've got a staff. What do I need throwing weapons for? All right, let's activate this thing. Let's go. Sure, it's totally safe and not at all dangerous. Oh no, we even getting a cutscene. Okay. She gonna sing for us? Sort of. Well, it was hated operas. Which is strange, because I love musicals. The Prey E. Okay. Oh, okay, that could be really dangerous. Okay, we're all right, we're all right. No ads, apparently. Can I just stay back? No, no, I can't stay back here because she does that. Okay. She gonna come down at all of her? That seems problematic. I, mean, I dodged away from the explosions, but like I need to get to her somehow. Okay, I think she's gonna. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. What I really want to do is get up on her. Yeah, there's Tempest going around everywhere, but I'm not sure that actually helps me at all. Hello? Oh, good dance. Good spin. Didn't do anything for you, but, you know, go you. I mean, I love her moves. Oh, got me there. Good job. Okay, so she will, in fact, kind of stay in place. So maybe the fire move isn't a horrible idea. That was the wrong one. So was that. But it will do more uh, recovery and damage. So that's good. Yeah, more damage in this area is not bad. Not the one I meant to do, but that's okay. She's down to half. That's pretty good. Gonna drink yourself, just be on the safe side. Okay, so hold on. Which... Which heal does the fire move? Fire move is... A! A! Okay, okay, okay. Alright. I'm safe here. For now, anyway. Oh, there's harpies. There's harpies. Stay away from those. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, that'll distract me while she's shooting arrows at me, okay. Oh, 
Oh, okay, down, 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 down. Okay, we're good, we're good. Drink. Got the way. Good. Man, there's a lot of harpies here, a lot of ads. Okay, we're good, we're good. Drink. I'd like to drink, please. Okay, drink. Drink again. And we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Dodge those, basically as much as we can. Okay, harpy down. Not that harpy, not that harpy, this harpy over here. Come on, there we go. Okay, good, 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 okay. I just, just totally stood in the way there, that wasn't great. Where's she at? There she is. Can you come back down again? Fine, you know you want to. You know you want to. Gonna try to stay behind some kind of cover. Okay, she's actually gonna come down, I think. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Okay, there's the fire. She's gonna stay here, she might as well burn. Oh, I launched the fire at the wrong. Oh no, okay, it still works, still works. Do some additional damage while I can, but yeah, the fire was actually really good there. If she's gonna stay put, then let's just keep going with it. Just keep burning, lady. And she's out. First try. Said the cultist took her documents. I'll take a look backstage. I mean, I feel like there should be a second phase, but maybe it's fine. Okay, so there's probably only one way to go, right? Don't really see much around. I guess it's this way. It's gotta be this way. More salve. Don't mind if I do. Oh, actually, road symbol if we can go back to the sanctuary. That's fair. Totally fair. Pegasus Garden. Like the name. Doesn't seem to be anybody here. Is there any other? No, there's a... just goes the same way. Okay. Very pretty gardens. Uh, conduit here. Might as well go ahead and touch. Because that means I didn't need to use the cell, but that's okay. I'm not actually going to bother uh, healing here, because we don't need it. Oh, but I can unlock this, right? No? Cannot damage this at all. That's too bad. Oh, but it gets me... Okay, well, I'm inside this room. Um, notes? Notes? Any kind of notes? Nope, just the vanity. And some star ore. That's it. That's all she got. Alright, well, how about over on the other side? Oh, how about you guys? Oh, I can talk to you. Hello. Oh, it's you. Oh, no, please don't hurt me. I won't hurt you. You are? Eco. My name's Eco. Remember the Guardian Temple? You saved everyone. I see. So how do you end up like this? Please don't get me wrong. It's not that I don't appreciate your help. I do. I, I just don't want to be a burden. In this form, at least I can save my share of Stardust. For the sake of others, isn't that painful? No, the ritual didn't feel good, but I made it. The bull blessed me. Oh, I should lower my voice. I wouldn't want the other harpies to overhear. Besides, I was looking for someone. Who? The singer Yulela was turned into a harpy, so I've been wondering if she... May I ask for your help? Go ahead. Great. Can you please open that box for me? The box? Yes, I'm not very good at controlling my body yet. I'm worried I might break whatever's inside. No problem. I can do that. Okay, so this box right here. Sure, why not? I'll check it for you. Um, there we go. Inside, inside the antique box is a delicate hand mirror made using ancient bronze with edges that have been decorated to look like rose grapes with the use of fuchsia starite. There's also a small card inside. It reads, To my bull songstress, whose appearance, voice, and heart are as enchanting and beautiful as the rose grape. It's kind of cute. All right, here you go. It's all yours. This mirror looks expensive. Is it yours? Great, I was right. It belongs to Nia. Yeah? 
Polomina, the bull songstress. I think she's as good as you, Layla. Ah, but I can't give her give the mirror to her like this. Sounds like you haven't found her here, so she shouldn't have become a harpy. I guess not, but where should, could she be? If she's turned to stardust. Hey, don't panic. Maybe she's hiding in her home like everyone else. You know where she lives? Maybe you can take this mirror to her. I, I'm afraid the way I look would scare her. And if she has turned to star ice, stardust, no, I can't think like that. Can you please take the mirror in Cardinia? I might know where she is right now. I have to stay in Aphis for a while to complete my mission, so if I pass by, I can help. Really? Thank you so much. Nia's lived in Argus Amphitheater since she married Pan. But I haven't heard anything about her since martial law was declared, so... Never mind, I'll go and see. Thank you. Shit, man. The freaking... The martial law was declared a thousand years ago. Think she still lives there? I mean, I guess anything is possible. I don't know where an open hmm. door would be. A dressing room. Seems like a good place to hide important documents. I don't want to ransack the place, but I don't have much choice. Yeah, let's look at the echo first. Eulalia, I think you're being inconsiderate. What do you mean? As a band, you should really cooperate in harmony rather than showboating in solo. You have a good voice. But you aren't finding my rhythms or the meanings behind the words. I think I interpret them pretty well. But you do need to be able to keep up with me. How do you mean? The music isn't just yours. And I have my own way of expressing my emotions. Besides, as you can see, the audience loves it when I sing like that. Who are you to judge my performances? Your peer? How can you say that? How can you be so full of yourself? Oh, please. You should be thanking me for pairing your dull music with my singing. Cobius won't be happy to hear that. I'm leaving. Oh, poor Marissa. Go on then. Walk away. He'll understand me. What makes you so certain? What did you say to my dear Cobius? Please tell me I'm wrong. That's not what I'm thinking. She hit her over the head with a liar? That's what it sounded like. That's why I want these things to be animated, to make these things a little bit more clear. The seal on these documents belongs to House Rosa. They must be the documents Marissa wants to give to Minerva. I've been helpful this time. Well, hopefully. Hopefully we don't need... Yeah. Hopefully Minerva is actually great. A word once spurned by the masses has become a word that symbolizes salvation for them. In a world of chaos, a slogan, preposterous and impossible, has caught on. False hopes continue to seduce the hearts of people living in fear. The songstresses and harpies soar through the sky, singing in exaltation. While in the world below, the souls of those who died a wrongful death increase with each passing day. Okay, but to be fair, sublimation does work, right? I mean, it does actually do what they say it's going to do. It does make you not dependent on Starlight anymore. Or Stardust, rather. It just also turns you into a beast, either a harpy or a werewolf. But still, not dependent on Stardust anymore. So it does do what it says. Uh, do we want to stay? I don't... I mean, we have other quests we want to do here, but I think we'll just go ahead and fast travel back to Sanctuary. Just to go there. We should be able to upgrade our stuff here, too. Yeah, actually, we get right near Volcane first, so sure, why not do that? Maybe I should bring this back to Minerva first. 
Let's talk to you first. Hey, sweetie, what's up? Yeah, okay. So I can get my staff up to four. Oh, that's right. We need these slivers. I've not been finding slivers. Yeah, I found a Rockhelicum ore, but not slabs. Okay, let's at least hit the staff up. That's it. That's all I can do. Uh, enhancements? Any chance? Now, we got a lot of fire concentrates, but not enough slivers to do anything with. Yeah, I'm pretty much stuck there. Trinket-wise, it's the same thing, right? Oh, no, I, don't, I still don't have enough slivers because I did the upgrades first. Man. Okay, then. Thank Never you. Mind. Still, though, we got the staff up. That's not too bad. All right, let's see if Minerva's actually going to be happy with this or if she's going to give this that disappointed voice again. This is the information Marissa wanted to give you. You went out of your way to fetch it? Marissa said it's really important to you. Don't look like that. Just pretend it was me being nosy. Well, thank you. You did well. Holy hell, did you Thanks hurt something? Thanks to your help, Marissa is in the shelter. She looks to be doing well, and her emotions have stabilized. I'll take good care of her. Oh, that's good. And here is the reward we agreed on. Thanks. Don't forget our agreement. If you want the remaining Echoes, then continue completing the other missions. Is that it? Of course. What else do you want? Nope. Nothing. Things have really progressed. Hilda, come and see me when you have a moment. I have something to tell you. So, we do have... Okay, so there's two other areas, right? I don't know if they're necessarily going to show up on the map here. Oh, sorry. Wrong button. Um, nope, that's the wrong area. Uh, so... The mine led to deeper in the mine, which we still need to do. And the academy led somewhere else. And the black streets also lead underneath the black streets, right? Where the egg guys are. So we still have three other areas to go to. Now, she might be mentioning those when we talk to her. I think we need to talk to... We need to talk to you? Is that what it was? That should be enough to help prove myself, right? It's not your combat prowess I'm interested in. I was moved by your actions and your noble sentiments. If you were only good at fighting, you wouldn't have gone the extra mile. It feels like you're someone I can place my trust in. Thank you. Although my father would say I'm poking my nose into other people's business. If you are capable of doing so, why not? I'm of the opinion that what you're doing is the right thing. I see. I serve Lady Minerva. Okay, I think that was all we wanted to say to him. Oh, we didn't tell him about the dog tags. Yeah, 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 let's do that. I found a tag in Argus Bazaar. Do you recognize it? Hmm. Off a soldier. I've led many men, you know. I was a Centurion before becoming an Aristoi Guard. I had a hundred soldiers under my command. Do you remember this one? Oh, Aporio. He was very short and had a nose so big that he couldn't wear a helmet. He always liked to repeat what I said. He wasn't very good with a sword, but very serious. A gentle kid, sometimes too gentle. It looks like he fought for the Aristoi Quarter, on the front line at Argus Bazaar. It really wasn't the best position for him. He wanted to join the adherents in the shelter with me, but he was reluctant to disobey orders, so he came to me seeking advice. I told him he should stick with the Legion if he couldn't make up his mind. Do you think he regretted the decision? Regret? No. A soldier must be decisive. If he made a decision, he shouldn't regret it. I feel sorry about what happened to Aporio, but if he felt regret, I'd feel more disappointed than sorry. It would be far worse than just joining the adherents in the first place. Not sure how I feel about that, but okay, I see it, I see it from the a soldier's perspective, for sure. Three. All right, Minerva, what do you want us to do? Do you talk to the war table again? First of all, Hilda, 
I'd like to thank you for all your hard work. You're... thanking me? Yes. Believe it or not, I can be appreciative. You're not spraying something, Anyway, are you? I was looking for you so I could give you something. Please, hand me your necklace. Don't worry. I'm just going to apply a magic sigil. Oh, do we get fast travel? Okay. There. Done. This sigil... what does it do? Remember your first task? You retrieved the Shifting Stone. It's an essential item for constructing the conduit teleportation go. system, and now we can finally use it. Teleport? Your necklace is equipped with a memory feature. You should have felt it since you arrived here in Aethys. You can use the necklace to sense the conduit in the newly completed array, and then teleport to any conduit location stored in the necklace's memory. So teleportation really is a thing. I can hardly believe it. And the sigil I just added. It stored a place you haven't yet been to in the necklace's memory. So, now we can go to Laurelcraft together. Us? Laurelcraft? Yes, there's a new objective there. I'll explain more when we arrive. Now you can use the power of teleportation in the shelter's conduit. Okay, we definitely want to do that. At the very least, because we still need to go to that one smith. And it'd be the easiest way to get there. So let's go there first. Oh, well, they might force us to go to the story location first, but still. Okay, just like Minerva said. Whoa, this is feeling weird. Okay, so I think we didn't get a choice there, but we should be able to choose next time we uh, use a conduit. All right, wow. So that's what teleportation feels like. Didn't she say she was going to join us? Again. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Are you all right? How do you feel? Yeah, smooth. No explosions. <laughs> ah. Why so surprised? Was I supposed to explode? <laughs> <laughs> no. That's good. So, where are we now? The conduit outside Laurel Craft. You may have passed by here before. But you seem to have a lot of questions. Let's deal with them first. Okay, I mean, all of these are good. So might as well just start from the top, work our way down. What kind of place is this? It's where we process and develop Starite. After the stones have been cut, they're sent here and made into goods. Laurelcraft makes everything, from the starite you use, to the conduit cores that can be seen all over the city. Is this the only Laurelcraft workshop? No, there are many workshops to meet the needs of the city, but this is the biggest one. Who manages such an important place? Humanities and I are in charge. I think you probably already know that we're married. Nope, oh, didn't know that. Oh, well, I don't. It's fine. I can tell you're curious about our relationship. Yes. I married Humanity soon after I came of age. He owned the mine, and my family processed Starite. Our marriage contributed to the development of the Starite industry, and Laurel Craft drove the city's economy. Sounds like he did a great job. Hmm... How did it end up like this? We can talk about that later. It's a long story. What are we doing here? The workshop was abandoned after the smiths and most of the starite were taken by marble, leaving many blueprints and instruments abandoned. I really need a polarized light reader for analysis. If I can find one, I can verify my hypothesis about humanity's plan, which will help us move forward. I see. And I guess we're done. Okay, look for a light reader. No idea what that looks like. Do you want to give me a clue? Magnifying glass, giant device the size of a person, giant device the size of a building. What are we looking for? Well, let's get to it. Hold out your hands. What does this key open? The Laurel Craft Vault. 
There's a secret vault in the cellar that can only be opened with this key. You'll find a polarized light reader on the table inside. Bring it back to me. Isn't this key too... precious to give to me? I think it's the right choice. I trust you. It's an unusual shape. It's made of pure starite, so it's very difficult to duplicate. Most Aristoi use this kind of lock to protect their important belongings. The key is a symbol of the workshop owner. It's no mere luck that you now have it in your possession. What do you mean? I'm speaking literally. Let's get back to the matter at hand. Wait, what? Hold the on, workshop what? was closed down by the soldiers, and the door is now locked. You can get in from the second floor of the building next to it. Come back once you have the polarized light reader. I'll wait out here for you. All right then. Wish me luck. Is an unusual shape. Why did she follow us here? Why did we go outside of sanctuary to go here? Why did she need? Yeah, see, I have a lot of questions about how this is supposed to work. So this should open from this side at least. So this should open. Yeah, there we go. That's the way to the bazaar. Let's concentrate on the workshop oh, mission. Just let first. me. Oh, fine, Got fine, it. fine. So she's here basically to keep an eye on me, essentially. Make sure I do the right things in the right order that she wants me to do. We can totally come back here later, though. The opening up shortcuts is less important when we can teleport. Okay, bronze slab. I mean, I could shoot this down. I'll grab that later. Does this go where I want to go? Hold on. Can I go back up? Um, there we go. Okay, that was my need. None of these doors open. I just wonder if this is the correct... Because there's another se second store over there? Hold on. And it seems like this might be the right building, but let me go, like, the other side. I don't see anything that's locked as a thing. Okay, hold on. Before we do this... Okay, not a mimic. Okay, hey, we got an upgrade. Nice. Arcanic Phantom Mantle. And some Star Ador. Can I wear it? Oops, sorry, wrong button. Try it again. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Kind of modern, but I like it. That's actually really good. Oh, that looks badass. I'm cool. Yeah, that looks cool. I like it. Yeah, okay. New outfit. New hairstyle, too. Oh, it looks like a modern adventure type of thing. No, I mean, maybe not modern modern. Maybe like early 20th. Yeah, like early 20th century kind, right? It may be like a stylized early 20th century. Like, you know, how people think the early 20th century looked like, even though no woman in the early 20th century would ever look like this. You know, but kind of a kind of a steampunk Magicka type of thing. No, that's actually kind of cool. I really like that outfit. That's really good. Okay. Anyway. Um, so this is probably the one that's locked, right? Otherwise, that's why it's boarded up. So we can't get in here. Kind of Stardust thing is kind of garbage for us. Because yeah, we can only carry three. Okay, so the only thing we can go upstairs on is over here. So this has got to be it. Okay, but I'm glad I went that way so we got the cool outfit. Yeah, I guess we just go through here. Alright. I expect there to be bad guys, but I don't actually know. Can I open the door from here? No. There is a glowing notice. Emergency collection order. In accordance with the special war readiness order, to meet the basic needs of the people, all Starite and all Starite Smiths at Worldcraft headquarters ought to be gathered at once. This is with the consent of Mistress Minerva of House Laurel. From now on, Laurel Craft should hand over both processed and unprocessed ore in accordance with this order. The Smith shall report to Head Smith Meyer in accordance with the seniority level, and will come after under the collective management saturation after three days. Okay then. 
You open the other side. Got it. Got it. Why would there be a Colossus here? Oh, and he's Hooray. moving too. Minerva didn't tell me that. I'll get to her later. We're locked on. Let's leave something. Okay, I don't know if that's going to help me or not, but it could. Let's try this, maybe. Okay, no. Fire. That usually helps the last bosses. Oh, got me there. Okay, keeps dodging. We're good, we're good. Oh, we jumped away from a fire. That's pretty cool. He's not as strong as the other Colossi, though. He went right into the fire, which is great. And he's young. Okay, that wasn't too bad. We did get a Thunder Concentrate, but we haven't actually seen... Like, I can't, still can't do lightning damage, right? Yeah, no lightning damage available here. Huh. Well, that wasn't too bad. That could have been a lot worse. Let's go ahead and open up the door. Or whatever this does. Yeah, okay, it opens up the door. Okay. We're definitely have a couple of words with Minerva. That explains why she stood over there. Okay, can't open that door. Well, hopefully she gives us the thunder damage um, ability, because otherwise we can't use that thunder concentrate at all. Well, for right now, thanks for watching. This has been Asterigos. I'm Peace Universe, your Peace Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.